The science of faith is something that we only sometimes get to hear about is not true. But the science of faith is something that not everybody wants to learn about, and that is openly true. American citizens have mainly, in my opinion, forgotten that the Founding Fathers came across the seas through all sorts of disease and dysentery to find a place that they could practice their faith. And as a part of that, we've established a constitution that is founded on that it literally says, under God, indivisible, we trust. At the same time, we have the amendments that provide us freedom of religion and freedom of assembly in the First Amendment, which basically says that almost every version of faith that honors the Lord Most High is welcome in America. So this always makes me question, what do we do with the people coming here or wanting to come here that come from countries that have absolutely no faith? Maybe they don't belong here. And that is something I'm starting to really believe. But I'm also someone who's somewhat world-read and somewhat more interested in religions than other because it's a pastime and hobby of me. So what I would like to talk about very briefly is a study I learned about maybe 10 or 15 years ago in a newscast that we were watching during dinner in my, in my parents' family home that talked about the minuscule mathematics that proves the scientific fact that there is a God. And openly, I can't remember what the actual um, dissertation is called. But if you type in anything like that um, in verbiage or adjectives, you'll probably find it online, and I would encourage you to do that. But what at the same time, because I'm a metaphysicist, and because I trust in the Lord Most High in everything for His omnipotence, His omniscience, and His omnipresence, along with Mother God, that I openly have a much more fun life than I've ever had. And I can credit the two women of my life that are more important or not more important or currently more important than my lay spouse for doing that. But my lay spouse was also a different religion than me. And in Japan, we practiced Buddhism and Shintoism, you see. And openly, I loved doing that because it celebrated God in such a unique and wonderful way at the end of the year and then the next day, basically, in the new year. And it's a great, marvelous way to write your prayers and your um, life planning goals in a temple of the Lord. 